Night, a deputy drunk and disgraced. We now know there is more to the story of a Pinellas County deputy who showed up drunk at a statewide Mothers Against Drunk Driving conference. Investigative reporter Mark Douglas got his hands on some new records. And Mark, there is a lot more to this than what the sheriff's office first made public to us. That's right, Keith. These records show that the deputy at the center of this controversy showed up at that mad conference in Fort Lauderdale ready to party like he was on a college spring break. Back in July, Pinellas deputy Mike Saliga showed up at the Pier 66 Hotel in Fort Lauderdale with a bottle of booze and ready to party. And party he did. Last month, Gulfport's police chief told me he bumped into Zaliga moments before a hotel banquet. I approached him and I said, you probably don't want to be here. This isn't appropriate. He's not kidding. Zaliga was at the hotel for two days of DUI law enforcement training, entirely paid for by Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Zaliga was supposed to receive a mad award in front of 200 people, but the chief insists he was staggering and reeked of booze. And you could tell he was drunk. Oh, yeah. As bad as that sounded last month, it just got worse. We now have records that reveal Zaliga packed a bottle of Jameson Irish whiskey into his patrol car for his Fort Lauderdale weekend. He signed in for DUI training that Friday, but skipped out after the first break along with two other deputies, poured some scotch, and proceeded to play cornhole in the courtyard while hundreds of other cops attended DUI training. Later that day, a Pasco DUI supervisor reported seeing Zaliga drunk in a hotel hallway during a fire alarm, wearing only his boxer shorts. When the Gulfport chief raised a stink before the banquet, Zaliga's supervisor ordered him back to his room. Zaliga didn't get to pick up his award for making 100 DUI arrests. Sheriff Bob Gualteri shared his embarrassment with reporter Peter Bernard last month. It was wrong. It was just, again, one of the most ridiculous things I've heard of. And when I first heard about it, that was my reaction is, is that, come on, you got to be kidding me, really? Now, Zaliga told investigators that he was not as drunk as some of those witnesses said he was, that he was not partying in the hallway with his pants off, and that he only skipped the training because it was no longer relevant to his new role as a detective in the Crimes Against Children Division. But the bottom line here, he was drinking on duty, he skipped training, and he broke the trust of MAD, which paid for his entire trip, Keith. And what was the punishment for all of this, Mark? Well, the punishment amounts to one day suspension without pay, and I suppose you'd say a whole lot of embarrassment, which quite possibly got a little worse tonight. Certainly more pronounced. Thank you. Mark Douglas reporting live in Pinellas County.